something and then never received an answer? We've all been there. Have you ever felt alone in your day-to-day -day struggles? We've all been there too. You know, you're never alone. Everyone has had their doubts and everyone has had trouble upholding their faith from time to time. During the Holocaust, there was a lot of trouble with keeping faith. And that is why I wrote my research paper for English 102 over the struggle to keep faith during the Holocaust. The Jewish men and women, they were no exception to those feelings. They <laughs> endured hate and torture. And many of them, they felt the struggle while they battled the Nazis in their own personal de de uh, depression. They were one of the most frowned upon groups of the time, by the Germans anyway. It just, they, it seemed like nothing they did was, was right, and nothing they did, and everything they did was wrong. Um, they, uh, whenever you're faced with difficulties of these magnitudes, it is, hard to believe that things could ever get better and many people such as Ellie Weisel had immense faith however after all the pain and suffering he and his fellow Jews endured they soon found it very difficult to have faith uh, that things would ever get better and it was like I read in a 2000 years of Jewish appeasement sometimes their fellow Jews turned against them just to save themselves and I mean I guess to some of them it helped their faith to join the Nazis because they felt that, you know maybe just maybe they would make it out alive if they just believed that helping them was the right thing to do I mean everyone felt down on their luck I mean, anyone would have felt this way, especially after spending months in hiding. I mean, depression is a natural feeling. It's no surprise as to why these Jews were at their breaking point and were suffering from depression. When you're depressed, you feel like your whole world has come crashing down and that you've reached the end of your rope and the end of your nerves. It's a sick feeling that just eats you alive for, and for so many people, the Lord is the way out and faith is the road that leads you away from the pain but for many of the Jews they had felt that God had abandoned them in their time of need that was not the case for Anne Frank however her and her family were very very into the religion long into their days of hiding and suffering um, it was hard to keep their faith alive and to hold their heads high when everything they had had been destroyed but somehow the Franks did I mean said they were soon captured and I'm I'm sure you know that kinda took their faith kinda took a little beating by that but you know in their hearts they still had God and they they knew that he hadn't abandoned them that he was there that this was a this was an evil force that was working against him I mean work of the devil you might say I mean, they knew that their God, their Lord, their Savior was with them the entire time. And that what these Nazis, what Adolf Hitler's men were doing to them, they knew that was not the work of their God. And that their God would not uphold that. Their God would actually uh, look down upon that. And I find it very easy to understand why these men and women, they gave up hope. But, I don't know, you just... I guess we didn't live during that time and so it is a little hard for us to understand how we could ever doubt a Lord but people do it today with their day-to-day -day struggles it's so easy to just lose yourself in what your day-to-day -day small problems are and forget there is a bigger picture and there is a bigger meaning to your life but I find it very easy for me to keep faith because I know the Lord is always with me Philippians 4:13, I can do anything through God for he gives me strength that is my favorite Bible verse and I live by that and that is why I thought this research topic 
would be the best for me. And so that again is why I researched the Jewish struggle to keep faith during the Holocaust. Thank you.